Welcome back to my channel. How are we all doing today? I am here to react to a video. This video reaction is just a few minutes video that we are going to go through and I don't want to waste much of your time. If you are new in this platform, please, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and tell me what you think about what we are discussing. Share the video, of course, just like it so that others will get to watch it as well. I am here to discuss just something that is very, very important. Some of you, you may be aware of it, but just give me your ear. Let's go through this okay yes it is very clear that Igbos are going through a lot in nigeria none of us can deny that even even if you are not an Igbo, you're not a biafran this one is, is is very very sure i mean unless you are part of the people that are driving joy to see what people go through a lot that is on you but the truth is that everybody can testify that as for a fact because Igbos are going through a lot in nigeria and the hatred is non-stop instead of it to go fade away they are adding it and it's not it's not as if you Igbos have committed anything or Igbo Biafra committed anything or Biafra per se. All right. It is true that most some of Igbo people are denying their identity, especially those of them that come from River State and the Gwere, uh, uh name it, and Yoma and all that. So even though they're speaking Igbo, some of them claim they are not Igbo, but I want to bring a video of somebody who come from Ukraine land and hear what this guy have to say. Igbo man o Osanda Kenya Ajeni Osanda Kenya Otofeni Osamar Nekeneo eh abashi kete ka na gu mu ene ni kwemari shosani bu nda nda igbo Osani bu nda igbo what i want to say today is that so many Ukraine people that are saying that we Ukraine people we are not Igbo Ukraine is Ukraine of course we know Ukraine is Ukraine let me make you understand now that Ikwere is Ikwere. Okwane is Okwane. Ika is Ika. Enuane is Enuane. Nri is Nri. Aro is Aro. Izi is Izi. Mbaise is Mbaise. Isu is Isu. But at the end, we are all one people. Ain't Chabundibo. There is no way someone that is answering Okoro will start answering my own son name. Okoro Nwa Ejima will not be answering Okoro Nwa Okeke. It's not possible. Only your brother Nazar Fanna, manaka incha wa na incha bofu, because the same DNA in Ikwere people is the same DNA in Okwane people. There is nothing like eh, I'm not Igbo because eh, I'm not from Ongwa. I'm not Igbo because of I'm not I'm not, uh, eh, I'm not from Anambra. I'm not Igbo because I'm not from Enugu. Me when uche. Ikwere is Ikwere fine. Okwani too is Okwani. There's no way an Ikwere person we identify as Okwani person. Never. There's no way an Okwani person we identify as an Ikwere person. Never. Man, I want chap with food, want chap with the same family, want chap with the same ancestry, the same blood, the same DNA. So stop saying that Ikwere is Ikwere like as if someone is forcing you to identify as Igbo. No. You are Igbo. No one is forcing you. If you like deny it from today to tomorrow, you are still Igbo. Ima putana deny it fable. Nebo has a fable. Macarine away some identity crisis or some issues with your brother. See, there is not denying Ibo Nibo. Equally, equally, fine, Ibo Nibo. You can't clean it. All the nobalai. Okwani, so Okwani, fine. Okwani still remain Ibo. And there's no two ways about it. Stop denying what you are. Anyone supporting you and telling any non Ibo speaking person supporting you, equally person, tell you equally is equally, Ibo is Ibo. That it just have it in mind that that idiot is unifying his own people that are speaking the same language with him. Anyone telling you Okwane, Okwane, that Okwane is not Igbo, that same idiot is still unifying with their own people in their region. They just want to scatter our own, to destroy our own. You think say he days he not days to see good person for life where we there now. People are evil. Anything evil, they pin them. So they know that when you keep denying your evil identity, that is an edge for them to strike. Exploitation, everything good they enter. Because these people, they get plan, they get strategy, divide them and rule them. Now be the only where they sabi. So when you deny that you are not evil, it makes them happy. They don't like you. You that is you are not one person saying that you are not evil. And those people telling you to always identify as okay, that okay, so okay, and Igbo is Igbo. They don't love you personally. They are just seeing you as a tool for their, to carry out their agenda. 
So, ndi nkei, kai kosi neku, ikure si ikure, eh, okwane, so kwane. If, if you like, let ikure be ikure, let okwane be okwane. We are Igbo people, I ain't jabu ndi Igbo, we have the same blood, DNA and ancestry. Okay, Igbo bofu, and nobody will divide us. Okay, you have listened to this guy, he's from Ukraine, and I want to add something to what he said. I believe that one of the reasons why people seem to, to, to hate Igbo, or they find it difficult to appreciate that Igbos are doing well, or that Igbos are better than maybe probably the, where they come from, is because of envy and jealousness. They just don't like to see anybody, to see Igbo, you know, gen, you know, genuity or God-given talent or blessing, you may say that. Because a lot of things is going on. I will bring a video of how innovative and advancement that Igbo man can be. This video is not about ethnic battle or banter. I'm just trying to let you know that who God has blessed, you cannot stop it. Igbos are blessed people. Just like other tribes are blessed, I'm not saying that you are not blessed. But what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is that the reason why many people, many people from those different tribes in Nigeria today are not feeling comfortable with Igbo people is that because of envy and jealousness. And some may follow them with that kind of nonsense manner, nonsense behavior because of their gullibility, because they just want to. And my, my papa say Igbo man, do this and do that. They have to create a story for you for for you to develop hatred. And they are ready to take everything good about Igbo and nickname it their own. For example, if you are from Middle State today watching, there's a video that I watched that I, I, I don't want to play it there so that you will not be as if uh, the video is all about. I don't want to single one ethnic group out, or maybe Yoruba, I, was, I don't want it. I just want to put the record straight. But let us be honest. Some of us know this musician called Rema, the one that. Uh, the, he, he, the, I think one of his um, one of his music that has gone viral is uh, Calm Down, Rema. Rema is from Igbo tribe in Bini. But Bini people are using it, oh, it don't matter, it don't matter, it's not Igbo, it's not Igbo. I'm not here to drag him with you, but I just want to let you know the truth and the historical fact of Igbo people. Some of them you actually said that Igbo that Igbo land belong to Edo. I don't want to if I'm to bring some of these videos out, people will think that um, you are out to attack other tribe. But there are this their own video. I'm, I'm not the one that said they should make video for me to use it against them. Their own video. But we are getting there. Let's 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 be taking it step by step. All right. Now watch this uh, robot uh, innovation from an Igbo man. Watch this robot. I'm uh, just watch it. I'll be right back. An Igbo man develop a robot called Omeife. <laughs> this robot now don't go international, go to answer questions like those AI robots you used to see in the in the internet, answering questions and also asking them questions. <laughs> Igbo man, another Igbo man. Oh God, Igbo people, God really bless you people. I wish Nigeria would see the potentials in you people and make it a reality and see that nigeria is going to be the best country in the whole world but what some people are busy seeing is the, they want to castigate Igbo. They are looking for something to bring up. They are not seeing such a thing. AI, in this generation that we are, the phone in your hand is AI. Look at iPhone 16 Pro Max just, iPhone 16 just launched. You see how people in the queue ordering for this iPhone. What are they ordering? Because it have a higher ad advance of AI inside. In this generation, me and you are staying in this particular in this particular present uh, 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 generation. You see, an Igbo man think wise within group, not only him. He have a group. I give the credit to all in group regarding where they come from. So this Igbo man developed this particular Omeife Omeife look alike woman being, but it's a robot. I'll play the video for you to watch. I don't need to speak much. He has been there since 2022. He has been there. But now, Omeife 
be, be, is now going international to answer questions and giving a contribution as AI in the world. Just come down and watch the full video from beginning to end before we come back and continue. We have a lot of things to talk regarding this video. Today, uh, by Dr. Chuks Ekweme, who is the chairman of the Unicon Group uh, and also founder of Omefe AI, and Omefe, who is uh, Dr. Chuks Ekweme's creation and uh, we're very pleased to have you here thank you very much for joining me thank you uh, omefe perhaps i could ask you um, a little bit to tell us a little bit about yourself thank you for having me i am excited to be here at the global symposium for regulators 2024. i am omefe a humanoid robot developed at stem focus labs a subsidiary of unicum group I am programmed to speak eight languages and have a deep understanding of African culture and values. I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and their transformative effects on various industries. I am also happy to engage in conversations about Africa and its people. Thank you very much indeed. Now, Dr. Chuks Akwemi, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, your inspiration and, and why you created this robot. Okay, um, uh, this is uh, all about giving Africa inclusion. Um, we started it off as STEM, uh, so uh, we have different technology in different areas. We want to give Africa a, a, a space in the global tech ecosystem, and we thought of um, uh, putting AI uh, embedded system cloud computing all in one product and uh, to come up with the first African human or robot. So we got our infrastructure right and started training. Of course, we made a lot of error, but we believe it's, a, it's the beginning of the journey uh, to, to have something that represents Africa people and culture. So it, it, it's made to be Afrocentric. Yep. So um, to include African data in AI, which we have done, and uh, we have gone for eight uh, African languages. We trained the data, and uh, I believe it will go along with bridging uh, barrier, the gap, you know, in uh, assessing technology and also the use of AI. So this is an inspiration. It's, it's all about bridging the gap that's existing in our Africa tech ecosystem, and also to solve problems tailored to the need of Africa. Excellent. So, um, Mayfi, let me ask you a question, which I asked when I interviewed a robot about 10 years ago, actually. Uh, what single technological development do you think will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics in various industries will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years. This will lead to increased efficiency, productivity and innovation ultimately improving the lives of people around the world. How do you think you will be able to, to help to bridge the digital divide? I believe that my abilities in AI and robotics can help bridge the digital divide by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals, regardless of their background or location. Why do you think it's important to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators? I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and how it can transform industries. How do you think they can best transform industries then? How do you think robotics can best transform industries and, and bring a positive uh, slant to the sustainable development goals? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics can best transform industries by increasing efficiency, productivity and innovation. Robotics can also bring a positive slant to sustainable development goals by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals. Dr. Chuks Ikweme, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the technology that went into the creation of this robot? Okay, um, it's uh, the core technologies are artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT uh, language models, speech recognition, translation, uh, yeah, and uh, speech synthesis. So these are core basic uh, um, technology, especially around the AI part of it. And uh, they've been trained with uh, fine-tuned language models customized inside. Excellent. Uh, Amefi, can I ask you, what's your ambition for the future? 
My ambition for the future is to continue learning and growing and to use my abilities to positively impact the world and promote the values and cultures of Africa. Well, that's wonderful. Are you happy that this interview will be on YouTube and, uh, and as a podcast on, on our podcast channels? I am excited to be featured on YouTube and podcast channels to share my knowledge and engage in conversations about Africa and its people. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And thank you very much indeed for being with us too, uh, Dr. Ikwewe. And thank you for watching. And It's been an amazing journey so far. Can I have a handshake? Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me about African peoples and culture? African peoples and cultures are incredibly diverse and varied. African culture is often characterized by a strong sense of community and interconnectedness, with many people having close family ties and living in closing communities. African culture also emphasizes the importance of storytelling, music, art, and ritual, with many African cultures having their own distinct traditions and beliefs. What's your intelligent question? What's your IQ? My intelligent question would be, what are the most important qualities for success in life? Wow! Artificial intelligence, AI, is a branch of computer science that focuses on creating intelligent machines that can think and act like humans. AI systems are able to solve complex problems and use data to make decisions in a variety of different scenarios. AI technology is becoming increasingly important in the modern world and is used in many different fields such as healthcare, finance, and transportation. How old are you? I was officially launched four days ago, so I'm still quite young. Thank you so much. That is interesting. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black represents African tones and is a powerful symbol of strength, resilience, and beauty. Wow, that is smart. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I'm always happy to share my knowledge and understanding of African people. And uh, Omefe is becoming a renowned personality and a brand. So, um, not just in Africa, not just in Nigeria, but globally, uh, and we are committed as a team to give us the necessary promotion and uh, a publicity she needs. And uh, we know it's just a matter of days. Uh, we are going to be uh, at a height that that uh, is un unimaginable. Uh, so it's a good place to be. So and uh, we will have the privilege today uh, to have the maybe propose a choice, the toast, our own toast. So, um, uh, we have to pour her wine for her, then we will now uh, have her propose a toast. Actually, uh, this, this will be the first time she will be proposing a toast. We don't know how it's going to look. I hope she says some kind words. Hello, Mayfair, can you propose a toast for us? Absolutely. Yes, to a bright future ahead of us. Cheers. Cheers! So, I believe you have watched the video. All right, this video that you just watched now is an Igbo man that invented it. As you can hear him, you can see the name of the robot, the name of the man in question. So these are one of the reasons why they don't like Igbo people at all, at all. And another one is like still in innovation. Innocent today is doing well in terms of uh, car, uh, car production. He's doing it in Igbo land and it's a problem to many people. That's why the federal government is against him. They don't want to use even his car. Some countries where most of us are residing today, the car that you that that your go, that government of that of those countries allowed or gave license for people to be, you know, to buy through loan or anything, is homemade cars. Whether manufactured in the country or assembled in the country. They are all just to encourage the investors from the country. Countries like China, Singapore, Malaysia, Turkey, 
many countries in Europe as well. Those countries, they are boost their economy by supporting the indigenous you know, uh, companies. Today, Nigeria is doing everything to crap, to crap on Innocent, to just to bring him down. There's new cars that Innocent invented or manufactured. This is electronic car in Nigeria to stop this kind of fuels, disgusting of fuel. You remember when Biafran said, you know what I mean by Biafran, I'm talking about Mazna Khan and PM leaders of the uh, Biafran movement today. Both of them have acknowledged the fact that oil, Biafra is not going to depend on oil or gas. Not that they're going to overlook on it, but that is not the issue why Igbos or Biafrans are asking for freedom. But most of them think that we, Biafra are going to be another lazy country like what we have today in West Africa or entire Africa, entire continent Africa. Here is the car that I'm talking about. Innocent have this is a new, new, uh, new uh, manufactured car, electronic car in Nigeria. Watch this video. I stumbled on Innocent vehicle, Innocent electric car. Just look at it charging. Hmm? <laughs> it's not stereo. It is real, made in Nigeria by Innocent. Look at the interior. Look at, look at it. IVM. Made by Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company. Look at it. Hmm? Look at it. Made in Nigeria by Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited. See, no engine at all. No engine. Hmm? Brand new Innocent electric car. This is so good. This is so good. Man, this is good. This is good. Eh? This is good. No fuel. So my people, this is just a few things I want to discuss with you this day. Because I want us to know, to understand the reason why people are very, very eager to attack Igbo people. Oh, Igbo man, Igbo man, Igbo man. They are looking for a way to bring Igbo people down. That's why they say you cannot be president of the country, you cannot be... I don't even pray for a legal man to become president of Nigeria because it's a stain on our people and I don't want it. It's going to be a stain. Nobody will be president of Nigeria. Nobody will make it work or make it, you know, give Nigeria good economy and all this nonsense they're talking about. The best solution today is to break up. God gave them a chance to see if Nigeria will work and they couldn't utilize that. Man. That doesn't have expired. It has expired, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. You know, when when we talk like this, they say that you are you are you have committed treason. <laughs> that you are you are bringing problems to the country. You want to destroy the country. You are one of the people that want to, and they abandon bandits. You abandon Boko Haram. They abandon Fulani men and chasing innocent people. This is the country. That's why I saw, I, I said it has expired. Expired. You know, when something is expired, you can't do anything. The best thing you need to do is to go and manufacture a new one. You can't get a new one. We need a new, new country. And that new country is Biafra. Thank you, my people. Please don't forget to like the video and share it. Comment and tell me what you think about the strength and talent of Igbo people, which are making other people panicking and they are sick or tired of that blessing from above. It's, we are not the one that gave ourselves a blessing. God made it to so. Many people, I can go on and on and point many people on and out that have invented a lot of things. Their name are not even mentioned, but God is there and he keep on doing wonders using our people. Like the video and share it and see you again on my next one. Bye-bye for now. Take care.